If it's your first time getting a pre-built Nyquist keyboard, I'll walk you through the process and explain some terms. Each keyboard has additions unique to that individual keyboard, which is why there's a video for each pre-built. Switches. We have clicky, tactile, and linear switches to choose from. If you want to send us switches to install in your board, choose the customer supplied option. Number of rows. If you want a more petite keyboard, you can make that choice here. The Nyquist PCB comes with five rows, but we can narrow it down to four if you like. Left thumb area. Some folks like having the extra keys on their keyboard to map interesting things to. Some don't. Let us know which you prefer, a 2U key or two 1U keys. Right thumb area. Similar to the left thumb area, the choice is yours as to whether or not you want a larger key or two keys. Nyquist plates. We have three choices for the Nyquist plates to house your keyboard. Be sure to check out those options. Nyquist middle layer. Tenting is a great way to make your keyboard more ergonomic, so the option rests here. If you're not sure what tenting is, take a gander at our other video where Danny assembles the iris with tenting gear. USB-C to USB-C cable. We have white and black, and both come in sizes of 30 centimeters and one meter or more. We don't currently sell ortholinear keycap sets, but we do have a few recommended shops on our recommended keycaps page. Be sure to check it out. All right, that's it from me. Hope this helps keep your keyboard order smooth. Kayla from Kibio, over and out.